Today we're going to be demonstrating some common physical exam tests for carpal tunnel syndrome. These are also known as provocative maneuvers because they will provoke or bring on the patient's symptoms of carpal tunnel. Pain in the wrist that can radiate into the hand or proximally up the upper extremity, as well as paresthesias, tingling, and numbness in the distribution of the median nerve, which is the first three digits of the hand, as well as the radial half of the fourth. Any of these maneuvers may bring those symptoms on if the patient has carpal tunnel syndrome. We'll start with Phelan's test. So Phelan's test commonly has the patient flex their elbow at 90 degrees, as well as the wrist at 90 degrees. And then you just wait for up to 60 seconds for symptoms to occur. Another way that I was taught to do this exam was to check one wrist at a time and have the elbow in full extension flex the wrist at 90 degrees. This can help potentially decrease false positives uh, from other etiologies like ulnar compressive neuropathy at the elbow. If the patient has an onset of symptoms within 30 seconds, that's actually indicative of a more severe disease. The next test that we'll demonstrate is Tonell's. Tonell's is performed by percussing or tapping over the transverse carpal ligament. Although there's no real time threshold, usually you'll give it some time to bring on those symptoms. The third test is known as the carpal compression test or Durkin's compression test. And you'll apply direct pressure over the transverse carpal ligament and hold for 30 seconds and wait for symptoms to occur. Another way to do this is to combine phalans flexing the wrist and applying pressure over the carpal ligament. And the fourth test is known as the hand elevation test. And this simply involves asking the patients to raise their hands above their head. You wait for one minute and see if symptoms occur. So those are the four most common tests that we'll do for carpal tunnel syndrome. Thanks for joining us today.